Achieving the Sustainable Development Goals is possible. In one single year, the amount of money that was invested in fossil fuel subsidies is enough, seven and a half times over, to create universal access to energy. There are enough resources. The question is, where is our leadership? You know, for the last now 10 years or more, uh, colleagues at ISD, as well as many other uh, organizations, UN Environment, OECD, World Bank, the International Monetary Fund, have saying, we have to make reforms to fossil fuel subsidies. This is a sector which is being subsidized hundreds of billions of dollars a year. OECD countries currently spend 10 times as much on fossil fuel subsidies than they spend on ODA for the energy sector. And if just part of that funding could go towards SDG 7, um, that would already go a long way. IASD's uh, Global Subsidies Initiative is launching a report today um, that shows strategies for how you can use fossil fuel subsidy reform for energy access. And basically you have to remove the subsidies that don't help anyone for energy access, um, target the ones to the people that really need it, and swap subsidy savings into renewables, energy efficiency um, for SDG 7. Subsidizing fossil fuels locks in a future with devastating effects, blocking progress to achieving the SDGs. So the message is clear. Phasing out fossil fuel subsidies has an important role to make in achieving the SDGs. It represents an opportunity for the world to make a real difference to benefit sustainable development, action on climate change and also trade. It is crucial that we also start to look at this too important um, commitments together. When we, when, when it's, when we negotiated the Paris Agreement and the SDGs, they had different international tracks and that was, of course, understandable. But now when, it, when it's the time for implementation, so we cannot say that now we are implementing the Paris Agreement and now we are implementing the SDGs because they have to be connected. And, and, and fossil fuel uh, subsidy reform is one tool to to do that. I think that every government throughout the world have to understand that if we really are going to fulfill the Paris Agreement targets and keep the global temperature rise below two degrees, we can't afford to give any cent of subsidies to using fossil fuels and the huge emissions that they are causing. So we have to invest all money available to renewables, energy efficiency and energy access to renewable energy. We need to make these reforms in a way which are careful, which are smart, and which give real um, gains to households as they struggle to find alternatives for clean energy solutions in order to, to realize their contribution to meet the Paris Agreement. So that question of being reformed, but doing it in a way which is careful and inclusive is important. If care is not taken, reforms could make women switch back to fuels that were less clean with attendant time and health implications for those women. So we could see how government's proper targeting of, um, of subsidies benefited poorer women, benefited um, low-income houses and expanded energy access in low-income areas. You see a real sense now of hope and, and also momentum that we can do this, we must do this, and we are doing this.